Hello everyone. So I have an experiment today. It'll be fun. When I was in New Zealand this spring, which actually I guess was fall, but it was spring, but it was fall. When I was in New Zealand in May, uh, I was introduced to the concept of slamming a tam, which slam a tam means uh, it's a thing you do with a tim tam, uh, which is a little filled cookie and it's biting off the corners. It's a rectangular cookie. So you bite off opposite corners and then you can dunk it uh, partially into your hot beverage, traditionally coffee, and use it as a straw, suck the liquid through that, um, through the cookie so that the chocolatey outsiding, uh, outsiding, that is totally a word, <laughs> chocolatey coating, um, holds it together while the inside melts. And you have to do it very quickly and there's a kind of an art to it. And, um, and it was okay, but I gotta say, like, first of all, I don't drink coffee. So, hey, that's, let's just, you know, put that out there. That's, that's on me. Um, the other thing is that Oh gosh, I'm going to get in so much trouble. Tim Tams are like perfectly adequate, but they, they don't make my American palate leap for joy. But while we were there, we went to a discount, you know, uh, grocery where they had, you know, overstock for cheap and such. And they had Cadbury covered Oreos. And I was like, ha 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 ha, let us slam this. And um, that I believe is a superior slam. It's more difficult because it's a round cookie instead of rectangular, but it uh, is completely achievable. Um, and so today I want to try something very different and extremely Laura, very Laura centric, all the chocolate and some other stuff. So I have here, oh gosh, I didn't, I didn't test my, my camera. Can you see? I have my, um, my, uh, Black Widow mug full of hot chocolate, not coffee. This is how we're going to do this. Oh good. It's not too hot. So I can actually pull this off. Um, and I have the very last tag along, um, that I've been, I had these saved in my freezer. The last tag along sounds like an epic title, but uh, I haven't written that yet. So I have one tag along left and we are going to attempt to slam it in my hot chocolate on video for science. So the last, the very last tag along, let's see. So I'm going to start by nibbling a hole. You want to get through the coating and into the cookie, but not, um, not too far in because you need structural integrity. It's important. Because this is round, it's going to be more difficult. Oh, that might be a little big. Oh, this could be a problem. Okay, so this is what I have. I'm going to try this because this is what we're doing. There is no delicate way to try this. I'm sorry. We're just going to, I'm going to be here. Uh, let's see. You know what? Let's see. I can get the camera down. Hold on, guys. All right, let's try this. All right, you got to move really fast because once it starts melting the cookie, you got to move. Oh man. Mm -hmm. mm. So good news. It slams really well. I like it. I can't repeat it. That was my last tag alone. Bad news. I was chipping the mug to try to get on the camera and I poured some hot chocolate on the floor. That's fine. We clean that up later. Um, I really hope, <laughs> I really hope I made that. Um, yeah. Also poured some hot chocolate on myself. That's how you do that when you're tipping things. So yeah. So uh, for science, science says that tagalongs are a perfectly viable slam and probably this, this experiment should be repeated to uh, verify this information and determine the best way to do it probably with a smaller hole. But yeah, so that's, uh, that's slamming a tagalong. All right. Now we know we have where we are spreading the slam throughout all the hemispheres.